everyone, this is Wobbly Wallaby. In the September 2021 update, Stellar Hunters got the new Star Ruin, called Excellent State Star Ruin. In the past, Exceed Break would decrease attack speed by 70% and agility by 30 at level 15. This ruin takes away the attack speed penalty and edgy decrease. As a result, you can keep Exceed Break at level 10 now and use 5 points towards some other skill. This is because the extra 5 points was used to reduce the attack speed and agility penalties. Also, since you can more easily hit the max attack speed, then you can take some points away from agility and put it somewhere else. In addition, you can get great auto attack percentage on the second line. The third line is great too, since you can trigger Blitz Beat. So what's the catch? You'll get a variable cast time with Exceed Break. My variable cast time was pretty bad at 14.9, but my auto attack percentage increase was great at 22.4%. Is this ruin a lost cause due to the cast time? No, and I'll show you how I got this to instant cast using this great trick. I'm going to remove some of my dex items and show you how this variable cast time can be super annoying in PvE. For example, I'm fighting the Dragon and Panape Museum Legend. Mid fight, I got a cast exceed break, and I'm just standing there for a few seconds. The Dragon does not have the patience to wait and murders me. First, I'll show you my motivation as to why I wanted to fix this cast time problem. Normally, I just have a 0.9 cast time with all my gear but that still wasn't good enough for me. I'll do a quick damage test. This is my old advanced ruin setup. Next, I'll quickly show how I don't have the greatest general in my accessories, so that final damage chance won't cause any problems when comparing the two setups. I cast Prepare for Elite and start auto-attacking my 0% water dummy. I will fast forward a bit until we reach the near 30 second mark. My DPS goes from around 13 to 15 million. My final DPS at 30 seconds is about 14.18 million. Next, I'll swap out my Dark Knight Trap Star Ruin for the Excellent State Star Ruin. I cast Prepare for Elite and I have to wait about a second before attacking. My DPS goes from around 18 to over 20 million. At the 30 second mark, it's about 18.73 million DPS. My total DPS increased by 32%, which is quite good. With all my gear, my dex is at 425, that makes my cast time decrease to minus 14 seconds. I got in an extra 30 decks from my 3 multi classes, but even that wasn't enough to instant cast. Next, I'll remove my 2 dog servants. My decks falls from 425 to 388, and my variable cast time decreases at minus 12 seconds, and now I have a 1.97 second cast time for exceed break. Next is the solution. So how did I fix this? The answer is Ancient Equipment. Now, before you freak out about being unable to use your Helion Bracelet or Eagle Flute, you're only switching when you cast Exceed Break and then switching back. In the recent update, you can now do Panape Museum Novice and choose Ordinary Ancient Equipment. These do not have random attributes. Use your Novice Panape Museum Redemption items to choose Dream Catcher. You can do the Novice difficulty to get rewards even if you've done the Warrior or Legend difficulty. It won't interfere with your rewards, so that's why this is almost free, you just have to take the time to do it. What makes this great is the variable cast time is at minus 20%. That means even if you got the worst case of 16 second variable cast time on your ruin, it would decrease it by 3.2 seconds. That would put it at a 12.8 second cast time, so you'd only need 390 decks to instant cast it. The Warrior Difficulty Ancient Equipment is Other Shore Web. If you happen to get this, then great, but otherwise I would just stick with the ordinary version. You could alternatively use the Chant Buff Ruin, which would give you some variable cast time reduction, but I find this more disruptive. It's also harder to swap out. I'd rather be using a minor ruin that contributes towards my damage. 
Next, I'll show you how to swap equipment mid-attack. My dog servants are gone, so I have a 1.97 second cast time. I only put auto attack in my auto attack skills. I put prepare for elite on manual. As I'm attacking, I watch my exceed break indicator on my left side. As the skill icon goes away, I use my item hotbar and swap to the Dreamcatcher. Then cast Prepare for Elite, and then switch back to my Helion Bracelet. I probably let one hit go off as I switched, so that damage is a bit lower, but that still beats not attacking for 1.9 seconds. If you find looking at the small indicator to be hard, then just get in the habit of switching to Dreamcatcher before casting Prepare for Elite. If you didn't do the swap, you can see just how disruptive this cast time is. Next, for farming, if you can't instant cast this, don't use the Ruin. I don't think you should unless you really need the extra damage. If you have 480% attack speed and don't need the extra damage, then just don't use it. You obviously wouldn't be doing this manual gear swap while doing farming. Unfortunately, even with the cast time reduction buffs in Komodo, that wasn't enough for me, so I can't use this Ruin for farming. Next, let's go back to Panape Museum Legend to see the dragon again. Can I pull this off in a real boss fight? First, I'll play at full speed. I attack the dragon, then run away. I cast Prepare for Elite with instant cast time and switch back to Helion Bracelet. You just have to dodge while swapping items. Next, I'll slow it down so you can see the sequence. I swap the Dreamcatcher, then cast Prepare for Elite. Then I click to run, and while I'm running, I switch back to Helion Bracelet. Once you get used to it, it gets pretty easy to do, even in high pressure situations. I hope you found this item swapping useful, so even if you have a horrible cast time on your ruin, you can still use it. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe.